in today's show. This Bitcoin bull market has at least six months to go. I'm going to be sharing with you the five things to watch out for in the Bitcoin market this week, including the latest technical analysis from crypto analyst Rec Capital and Plan B, creator of the Bitcoin stock to flow model, who points out right here, the second leg of the bull market will have at least six more months to go. And as you can see here, the stock to flow model price shows Bitcoin currently above $100,000. Also in today's show, China's ban made Bitcoin even stronger, says Edward Snowden, as he shared in this tweet. Sometimes I think back to this and wonder how many people bought Bitcoin then. It's up 10x since, despite a coordinated global campaign by governments to undermine public understanding of and support for cryptocurrency. China even banned it, but it just made Bitcoin stronger. As I point out here, attacking Bitcoin only makes it stronger. Also in today's show, Ethereum Fractal from 2017 that resulted in 7,000% gains for Ethereum appears again in 2021. That's right, the deja vu scenario can see Ethereum hit $13,000 within the next six months if history repeats. Also, as Naive Bokele shares here, 3 million Salvadorans are already using the Shivo wallet. My response, cheers to the next 3 million. Also in today's show, breaking news, Brazil is introducing a bill that will make Bitcoin legal tender. TikTok next block. That's right. I'll be breaking this down for you. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin, Ether, and many of the alts are currently correcting back in the red. But where's the Bitcoin price likely to go next? Find out all this plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. The goal is to get to 50,000 subs. If you like earning money in cryptocurrency, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. Now let's talk about some crypto IRAs. Today's show is brought to you by iTrust Capital, the world's largest crypto IRA platform with over $2 billion in transactions. With iTrust, not only can you buy, sell, and trade crypto tax-free, but also precious metals as well, such as physical gold and silver, so you can trade 24-7, and there are no hidden fees, and everything is very transparent. And here you can see the cryptocurrencies you can currently trade, which include Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, Chainlink, Pulse, Polkadot, as well as other top cryptos. And a reminder, you can also trade physical gold and silver via digital ownership. iTrust Capital utilizes vault chain investment grade gold and silver held physically at the Royal Canadian Mint with ownership managed via a secure blockchain distributed ledger. And the thing that I really like is the fact they have institutional custody by Coinbase, the world's leading institutional cold storage provider, backed by a $320 million insurance policy. So you can have peace of mind knowing your digital assets are safe and secure. To take advantage of this, go ahead and use my referral link in the description right down below. And as a bonus, you'll receive your first month absolutely free. So what are you waiting for? Click the link right down below and let's start stacking them sats tax-free. All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV. How's it going, crypto fam? Holla at your boy in the live chat. Now for the five things to watch out for in the Bitcoin market this week. The crypto market's brace for a tumultuous ride this October. That's right, stocks may have had a flat September, but just the first few days of the new month have already shown just how little good news can see Bitcoin outperform the macro pack. While the S&P 500 fell 5% in September, Bitcoin closed the month around 4,000 below, where it closed out August. However, since October 1st, the Paris fortunes have firmly set a different tone and against expectations for stocks to rally at the expense of the United States dollar, positive headwinds for Bitcoin may well continue. Quarter 4, 2021 will likely record a higher than average return. CNBC quoted Sam Stavall, chief investment strategist of research firm CFRA, said over the weekend, however, investors will need to hang on tight during the typically tumultuous ride in October, which saw 36% higher volatility when compared with the average for the other 11 months. And last week's sentiment was driven by the vote on the U.S. infrastructure bill that is now being pushed back until at the latest October 31st. And as crypto analyst Crypto Ed shares here, one of the reasons to be bullish on Bitcoin is U.S. dollar currency index chart. Two days ago in a live stream, the U.S. dollar currency index hit in red box should reverse soon and start a correction. This correction could take a while and is bullish for crypto, in my opinion, as you can see right here in this chart. Now, the next factor to keep your eyes out on this week is that critical psychological resistance at $50,000 after clipping 49000 
50,000 over the weekend. Bitcoin is clearly lining up to attack the all important $50,000 mark, but just not quite yet. Despite bullish impulses, Sunday's latest break to the upside ended with a hefty rejection and subsequent drop of almost $2,000. Now, commentators broadly dismiss this as being a bearish signal. However, maintaining that any Bitcoin price weakness will be temporary. Among them is Cointelegraph contributor Mikhail Van de Pop, who on the day repeated in recent theory about brief consolidation followed by a fresh bullish breakout, as he shares here on crypto Twitter. Yes, pretty much Bitcoin, and you can see it surpassing $50,000. And for fellow trader Pentoshi, he likened the situation to last year's Q4 activity when Bitcoin was trading at 20000 and not 64500 that Bitcoin needed to beat, quoting him here on crypto Twitter. I don't really care for the low time frames. I care about the macro market structure. So drop or no drop, Bitcoin likewise put in a solid weekly close of $48,234, and in doing so, canceled out its previous two weeks action entirely. And for crypto analysts at Capital, he additionally noted that the Pi cycle, 111-day moving average, is holding a support fueling the recent rally. And he also tweeted here, Bitcoin has rallied plus 20% since breaking out from the ascending triangle, as you can see right here in this chart. Now for the third factor to keep your eyes out on this week in the Bitcoin market is the new hash rate all-time high trickling in. That's right, you can never know for sure, but sometime by estimates, the Bitcoin hash rate has already hit new all-time highs. Less than five months after China sparked a mass migration of miners and equipment due to a regulatory crackdown, data sources are showing that the fundamental metric has fully compensated for the upheaval. Not only that, but the hash rate may have even hit 200 exahashes per second in recent days, which is a full 32 exahashes per second above its previous peak. And we all know the Bitcoin price follows the hash rate. And as Pompliano shares here, China kicked out nearly 90% of Bitcoin miners in the country earlier this year. Hash rate fell approximately 50% as a result only a few months later, and we are almost back to an all-time high. Economic incentives drive further. Network decentralization. Now for the fourth thing to watch out for in the Bitcoin market this week, we're only half Halfway through this Bitcoin bull run, says Plan B. It's no secret that Bitcoin's best known analysts are calling for a spectacular Q4 performance for the Bitcoin price action. And for Plan B, creator of the Bitcoin stock to flow model family, the worst case scenario for Bitcoin has come true two months running. His floor estimates now call for 63,000 by the end of October and a whopping 98,000 for next month's November close. And zooming out, however, the picture remains even rosier for Bitcoin bulls. He says in his latest stock to flow cross asset update, better known as stock to flow X. Plan B showed price behavior being roughly 50% through its bull cycle, leaving the door open for rapid gains. As he shares here on crypto Twitter, on-chain analysis is finished tonight. In my opinion, we are midway. No sign of weakness yet. Note color overlay is not months to having, but an on-chain signal. My guess, the second leg of the bull market will have at least six more months to go. And Benjamin Cohen responded, the lengthening cycles for the win. And Plan B responded, by your definition, later top for sure. By my definition, looking at average levels and ignoring tops and bottoms, nah. In my opinion, next 2024 having will start the next four-year cycle, not later and not earlier than previous cycles. So there you have it. And checking out the stock-to-flow multiple, it shows the actual stock-to-flow Bitcoin price currently at above $100,000. And Plan B shared this poll yesterday on crypto Twitter. Do you think Bitcoin will reach $500,288, $100,000, or will Bitcoin stay below $100,000 by Christmas 2021? And 47.9% said $100,000. $100,000. Now for the fifth and final factor to watch out for in the Bitcoin market this week is pricing in a Bitcoin ETF. As I covered in great detail in the previous episode, a futures-based Bitcoin ETF has a 75% chance of approval in October, according to Eric Balchunas, the senior ETF analyst for Bloomberg, who recently tweeted, yes, the SEC has kicked the can on Bitcoin ETF approval, but that is for the physically backed ones under 33 Act. The futures ETFs filed under 40 Act, which Gary Gensler loves, are very much alive and likely on schedule. We think 75% chance approved in October. And before I break down our next story of the day, China's ban made Bitcoin even stronger, says Edward Snowden, as well as Ethereum Fractal from 2017, resulted in 7,000% gains for Ether, appears again in 2021, as well as breaking news Brazil is introducing a bill that will make Bitcoin legal tender. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin and many of the top cryptos are currently correcting. And in the red, with Bitcoin down 0.69%, trading just under 47700 We have Ethereum down about 2.5%, trading just above $3,300. With Solana, Polkadot, Binance Coin, Cardano, and Chainlink all in the red. But all right, now let's break down our next story of the day. The Chinese ban is actually good 
for Bitcoin, checking out this recent tweet from Edward Snowden. I read this to you in the intro of the show, but he's responding to his original tweet back in March 13th of 2020 when he wrote, this is the first time in a while I felt like buying Bitcoin. That drop was too much panic and too little reason. Now let's fast forward a year and a half later. Bitcoin has 10x since, so he was right on the money. And if you're not familiar with Snowden and his Bitcoin history, Snowden made the headlines back in 2013 when he stole and leaked numerous classified documents from the National Security agency, which was his workplace at the time. Those included proof of mass government surveillance, espionage, computer hacking, phone tapping, and more. And later on, he admitted that he used Bitcoin to help him reveal the stolen documents. He noted in an interview, the servers that I used to transfer this information to journalists were paid for using Bitcoin. So there you have it. And before I break down our next bullish story of the day, Ethereum Fractal from 2017 that resulted in 7,000% gains for Ethereum appears again in 2021, as well as breaking news of Brazil and introducing a bill that will make Bitcoin legal tender. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap, sitting just above 2.1 trillion with 90 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. Current Bitcoin dominance is 42.5%, with the Ether dominance at 18%. 0.7%. And checking out the top gainers within the top 100, we have Axie Infinity up 36% for the day and 129% for the week, trading above $149. DYDX up about 15%, trading above $25. And Algorand up 11.6%, trading just above $2. Now, which altcoins are you currently most bullish on? Let me know in the comments right down below. And now checking out one of my favorite indicators is the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. Shows we're currently rated a 54 out of 100, which is neutral. Yesterday was a 49, last week a 26, and last month a 72 in greed. All right, now let's break down our next story of the day. Bids for Ethereum's native token Ether could rise to $13,000 in the next two months if History repeats, this shows a fractal indicator from 2017 consisting of at least four technical patterns that were instrumental in pushing the Ethereum price up by over 7,000%. The same set of bullish indicators have flashed once again in 2021 as Ether trades above $3,350 after rallying over 360% year to date. And in detail, the four technical indicators are stochastic RSI, which is the relative strength index, bullish hammer and Fibonacci retracement level. It started with the bullish hammer's occurrence on Ether's monthly chart back in December of 2017, followed by a 7,000% price rally in the next six months. And the hammer led massive upside move pushed Ethereum's monthly RSI to over 94, an extremely overbought zone. And as a result, the crypto started consolidating sideways to neutralize its excessive bullish sentiments and thus RSI started correcting even lower. And in parallel, Ether's monthly stochastic RSI indicator, which compares its closing price with the price range over a given period, also started correcting lower after identifying the crypto as overbought. Later, the Ethereum token surged by another 500%, closing above $1,200 in January of 2018. It coincided with the RSI, forming a double top. Now let's talk about some deja vu. The 2021 fractal repeats so far. Ether is almost mirroring the moves from the 2017 fractal as it heads into the final quarter of 2021, all be it without order. And in detail, the Ethereum token rallied by 3,400% to over $4,300, 16 months after pinning a bullish stochastic RSI cross. Meanwhile, the huge upside move again pushed Ethereum's monthly RSI into its overbought zone, as you can see right here in this chart. Now, a consolidation period followed, which saw Ether making a bullish hammer in July of 2021, suggesting that sellers had formed a price bottom. And the synonymous analyst known as JD, who first spotted the Ethereum fractal, highlighted the hammer's potential to send the Ethereum price flying with the primary upside target sitting near the 2.6% Fibonacci line at around $13,000 per ETH. And the bullish analogy also took cues from the potential stochastic RSI bullish cross and double top RSI waiting to appear on Ether's monthly chart in the next few months, similar to the one that coincided with the 500% price rally in 2018. As mentioned above, how many of you are currently bullish on Ethereum? Where do you feel the Ethereum price is likely to end up before the end of this year? Holla at your boy in the live chat. And before I break down our final story of the day, breaking news, Brazil is introducing a bill that will make Bitcoin legal tender. But first, I want to remind you to smile smash that show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. This goes for all 940 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. Also have some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including my daily letter, which goes out to over 30,000 subscribers every single day. To subscribe, visit letter.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also have a blog I update daily, which can be found at cryptonewsyes.com. Also be sure to smash 
that subscribe button and ring that bell to help me get to 50,000 subs. And of course, you can follow me on all the major podcasts and platforms from Spotify, the home of the Joe Rogan Experience, to Apple's iTunes and Google Play. You can also follow me on crypto Twitter. My Twitter handle is Crypto News. Yes. And of course, you can follow me on TikTok, Telegram, and Facebook. So be sure to follow me there. All right. Now let's break down our final story of the day. Federal Deputy Ario Ribeiro said in an interview that Brazilians will soon be able to buy houses, cars, and even McDonald's with Bitcoin. That's right. After approval of its law, which will happen soon, the conversation was with journalist Marcio Achilles Sardi for the electronic panel from Radio Camera, which took place after the approval of the final report by Deputy Expito Netzo on Bill 2.303-15, which calls for the regulation of virtual currencies. The approval took place last Wednesday, the 29th, when the commission met and voted for the approval of the opinion, which will now be discussed in the plenary of the Chamber of Deputies. The congressman stated that the commission approved a very important project for Brazil, which deals with crypto economics. He said that the Brazilians are facing Bitcoin in many places, with the possibility of buying, selling, and investing in this sector. However, Arrero highlighted that the market is not regulated and thus does not offer legal recognition. He stated that it is sure with the approval of his bill, which is an innovative text, several countries will copy Brazil's regulatory model. Quoting him here, we debated a few years there to arrive at a text that recognizes this asset, which allows the transaction of this asset in our country and which will be regulated by a government agency because we will work with the central bank and the CV depending upon how this asset will be recognized, such as real estate value or currency of daily use. Another point that the Bitcoin law in Brazil will give of advantage, according to a Rio Ribeiro, will be the purchase of products and services with cryptocurrencies, such as a house, a car, and even McDonald's, highlighted the federal deputy, quoting him again here, we want to separate the wheat from the chaff, create regulations so that you can trade, know where you are buying, know who you are dealing with, and have this asset to buy a house, a car, go to McDonald's, to buy a hamburger, and will be a currency in the country as it happens in other countries. And for Arreo Ribeiro, the bill that regulates crypto should go to the plenary of Chamber of Deputies within the next few days. That is, Bitcoin may still be recognized by Brazil in 2021. And according to him, the situation has government support and has already been aligned with the president of the Chamber of Deputies, Arthur Lira, so that there are no barriers to its approval. Approval, asked if the market is sustainable, Ario declared that this is an innovative, sustainable sector that works all over the world with ballast and is here to stay. In another answer, the congressman stated that the Bitcoin valuation surpasses any return on assets listed on the stock exchange, working exactly like an investment in dollars and gold. So there you have it. Let the mass Bitcoin adoption continue. I'd also like to point out Nayib Bokele, president of El Salvador, announced that 3 million Salvadorans are already using the Shiva wallet. Let's freaking go. And as I put out here. Cheers to the next 3 million. And now for a quick recap of what I cover with you here in today's show. This Bitcoin bull run has at least six months to go. I shared with you the five things to watch out for in the Bitcoin market this week, as well as China's ban made Bitcoin even stronger, says Edward Snowden, as well as an Ethereum fractal I shared with you from 2017 that resulted in 7,000% gains for Ether, which appears again in 2021. And I also shared breaking news that Brazil is introducing a bill that will make Bitcoin legal tender. But where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go next? Let me know in the comments right down below. I want to give a quick shout out to Bitbud. I appreciate the super chat contribution he wrote. I look forward to you having 100,000 subs. Much love, fam. Now for the top three comments from yesterday's episode. Magnus Boosen wrote, How's it, JV? Awesome show as always, bro. The daily news I never miss. Everything you need to know about the cryptosphere in a nutshell. My response, do an awesome fan. Much love. I appreciate your support. The next featured comment comes from G. Dean who wrote, JV loved the show, caught the end live and watched the entire show. I enjoy the fall. And yes, this is 2017. Reimagine Bitcoin will hit 65,000 in October and December will close the month over a hundred thousand dollars. Let's go. My response, October, let's freaking go. hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin coming soon to a theater near you. And the third and final featured comment comes from my man Bitbud quoting Satoshi. The heat from your computer is not wasted if you need to heat your home. That's right. And to be featured on tomorrow's episode, drop me a comment right down below. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto matrix. If you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to help me get to 50,000 subs. And real quick before I go, I want to give a quick shout out to iTrust Capital, the world's largest crypto IRA platform with over $2 billion in transactions. If you're looking to buy, sell, or trade crypto or precious metals, 
tax-free, look no further than I trust. Now check this out. You can currently trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, Polkadot, Chainlink, as well as the top cryptos, including precious metals, physical gold, and silver. What I personally love is the fact they're backed by Coinbase Custody, which has a $320 million insurance policy, so you can sleep at night knowing that your crypto assets are safe and secure. To take advantage of this and receive your first month absolutely free, click the link in the description right down below, and I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.